Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Plastic Soul, the Entertainment Earth Pop Culture Show. I'm your host, Jason Lindsay. I think we've established at this point that I'm a big fan of James Bond spy movies in general. Uh, some of the 60s stuff, the 70s stuff, the modern stuff. Who doesn't like a good spy film? Um, and I mentioned before that there was a toy company in England that might even still be around called Lone Star. And in the mid 60s to late 60s, early 70s even, they had every license imaginable. I managed to get copies of some of these Lone Star catalogs, which are really rare because I've, I've looked for them over the years on eBay or just to see if people have copies online and you don't really find them. But I thought I'd share them here because this is some really rare stuff. This is one of the rarest things that I own actually. This is a Luger that was made for the Saint television series. Now before Roger Moore was Bond, he was the Saint. Uh, in the very popular uh, television show. He didn't really carry a pistol in the show, but it doesn't matter because this is the kind of thing that Lone Star would do. Take an existing die-cast cap gun, put a Saint sticker on it, and uh, package it on a card like this with, a, of course, a silencer and a scope, and you got yourself a pretty cool licensed tie-in. I thought you might enjoy looking at these catalogs or copies of these catalogs. As you can see, by the mid 60s, they had James Bond. The Man From UNCLE. Doctor Who. The Jerry Anderson shows like Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet. Eventually Joe 90. There was a time there where their licensed products, I think, kind of rival something like Mego or Kenner in the 70s, where they had so many different titles and so many licenses. As far as I understand it, they didn't have the likeness for Sean Connery. So if you look at some of the packaging on those early toys, it's a doppelganger. Mm. It's a fancy word for a double that wasn't Sean Connery because they couldn't get his likeness on those things. The Lone Star ones are kind of hard to find. They're kind of rare, but I thought you might enjoy seeing them because there's so many famous properties that they had licenses for. Anyway, let me know what you think. Please hit like and subscribe, uh, leave some comments, and don't forget to sign up for the Entertainment Earth email newsletter to stay up to date on all of your pop culture needs. They won't let you down. That's it. I'm finally going to rip this thing off the card and have some fun. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.